Hello and welcome to the New Loft Garden. Today we'll be building a couple of deep water culture hydroponic systems which we'll be using to grow tomatoes, cucumbers and various types of lettuce in the loft under the Mars 2 400 watt LED grow light. So let's have a look at some of the parts that we need. We'll need a strong storage box like this one. If you can find one in black plastic that would be best. And then we'll need some net pots. These are 80mm net pots. We'll need an aquarium air pump with some air stones, the larger the better. And then, since my box is clear, I need some of this reflective foil. I'm also using some reflective tape just to hold the reflective foil down. And here's some of the tools that we need. We'll need a pencil, and then we'll need an 80mm hole saw, or a hole saw to match the size of the net pots, as well as some other drill bits. So the first step is to measure out where we need the holes to be. I've drawn this plan for smaller items like lettuces and uh, one of my first projects which will be hydroponic bok choy. In order to start drilling the holes we need to start with a pilot hole. For this I'm just using a small drill bit and that will guide the 80mm drill bit. So let's go ahead and measure out where we're putting our holes. The spacing on this particular box will be, as I say, for smaller items, but I've also done another hydroponic system, which is exactly the same, except it only has two holes, and that will be for hydroponic cucumbers and tomatoes. The reason a black plastic box is so much better is that light will pass through this box, causing algal growth, and that will be especially bad considering there's a grow light and nutrient solution. And that's why I'll have to put the reflective film on top of the box. As you can see, all eight of these net pots fit in perfectly. Next we need to drill some holes for the air hose lines. To do this I'm just choosing a drill bit that's of a similar size and just drilling straight through the plastic. I'm test fitting the air lines and they fit perfectly. Next, because it's a clear plastic box, I'm going to need to stick this reflective film across the top to stop light entering and creating algal growth. So to do this, I'm just using a commercial adhesive and I'm applying it liberally across the surface of the, the box. Now, if you had a black box, this wouldn't be necessary. So if you can find one, get that. <laughs> it saves you a lot of hard work. So I'm just spreading the, uh, the adhesive across the surface, laying the film down on top and then pressing it down. I'm then going to secure the edges with just some reflective tape. Next we need to cut out the, uh, the openings where the net pots will sit. This is very simply done just with a sharp knife. You find the hole and then you can just cut around the edge. We need to do that for all eight holes and then we'll also need to do that for the two air hose lines. Now for the air hose lines I've done it from the back and these holes don't have to be perfect. Again, test fitting the net pots we can see they all fit perfectly and the system is now almost done. All we need to do is feed in the air hose lines, attach the um, air stones and then we just need to give it a bit of a clean out and we should be done. Here's the second lid that I've created. So as you can see there's only two net pots in this one and they're spaced a lot further apart. Next we'll need to fill up the hydroponic system with water. Uh, I'm just using tap water here, but if you do use tap water you need to let it sit for at least 24 hours. And then we're just popping the lid on with the air stones in. When we switch the pump on, we should start producing bubbles, and the hydroponic system is now complete. So this is where the hydroponics will be sitting, in my loft garden under the 400 watt LED grow light. So for future projects and to see me growing things in this particular hydroponic system, click the subscribe link. There's also some other videos that you might be interested in. I did a review of a commercial hydroponic system called the Aeropot from Happy Hydroponics, which uses aeroponics to grow plants. And I've also done a review of a commercial 400 watt LED grow light. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below. If you want to see any further updates, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the, the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.